Okay, BW team, you know, we've, this is Sean again. Done a, a fair amount of these videos on 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 going and retrieving data from uh, from displays in the combine or in the piece of equipment that you might want data from for us to uh, you know analyze some of the trials you guys have got out. So, wanted to do just a couple more, and and this morning I'm going to do a video here quick on pulling data from climate field view. So a lot of our growers have the iPads and the combines and the planter trackers that's uploading the data uh, to the cloud there and upload it to their climate account. So I want to run through real quick on how to how to get that information out of there. So I use Google Chrome as a browser. Uh, just go up here and I'm going to go. I'm, at, I'm just starting at Google and I'm going to go to uh, I want to look at Field View Plus. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than what you might think, because you're thinking, OK, I've, I've been there. I've seen this. We want to go to climate field view to pull this, but but realistically, what happens is is the climate field view is 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 more of the uh, is a portal to where you can go and look at the data and you can look at all of your data that's been uploaded, you know. But but at the same time, I've never found a way to get data out of there. So what you want to do is you want to go down here. You want to go to the fieldviewplus.com. Uh, it's the same username, same password. So if the uh, uh, if your grower and mine's already logged in here, I'm gonna I'm gonna log out uh, just so it comes here. It's gonna come up, but this is the page you're gonna see. So if your grower has graciously given you their username and password for their field view account, just type that in. Uh, simply log in. Like I said, this is gonna be more of a data portal for that, and then the data then kind of moves itself over uh, to the field view or the climate field view piece, uh, so you can so you can see. So it's more of the this is the client this is the field view piece. The other is the climate piece where we can uh, view and look at maps and such. But uh, this is a good place to get the data. So what we got up here at the top is we got map, we got reports. This is real basic. The map just has pins that shows you where the fields are. Uh, uh, you're not going to view the data in any 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 major reports or or anything like that. You can create some reports, but like I said, this is just kind of the data manager piece. So. Go to the data tab, go to data manager. Uh, you can look at the data a couple different ways. It's processing the uh, the request for this particular uh, grower. There's a fair amount of data in here. So so like with a lot of our growers, it's going to take a little bit for, you know, for this to process around. We can look at data by field. We can look at it by planter. We can look at it by combine. And so in this case, this grower doesn't have any harvest data in its field view. He's got planter data, and this was his soybeans. So this was his planter name, CNH36 crop soybeans. This is the serial number uh, for his information. And this is all the fields and the acres planted. To pull the data out, we need to look at the data by field. And what happens when we go to field, we see this button over here on the right that says actions with a drop down. And so uh, what we could do is if we click this, that's selecting all the fields that have data for 2021. And if we go over here to actions, hit the drop down, we can export DAT files. This is the this is the precision planting uh, file structure. Is what a DAT file is. So uh, what would happen is you click this, and this would take a fair amount of time to export because in this case, this grower's got 3,200 acres or 3,166 acres uh, worth of data. So it would take a little bit of time to push this out, but you can absolutely do that, and it will work just fine. I'm going to select one field here just so you can see the process. I'm going to select this north of Beards field here. It's 103 acres. Uh, it was planted on the seventh day of uh, July. Uh, it's a double crop field here. And so we're going to go export DAT files. And you get this pop up window of export field DAT files. And it says it's exporting Sandy Thompson. So once that export is done, you see this come up and 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 it's confusing because you would think you would just hit close because it did the export. What's confusing about this, this is what you got to catch because there's nothing here that signifies something that you need to do. You know, they don't have the click here to download to be very, very prominent. But you come over here and you and you hover over, click to download, it, it underlines it. And if we click that, that then starts the download of the the zip file of those files and so because i'm running google chrome it drops them right down here in the bottom left if you're new to this website a lot of times right up here you'll get a pop-up blocker if you don't see this file automatically start to download and so you'd want to right click on that 
uh, and you would go through the uh, allow all pop-ups from this site, you know, click that button, and you may have to go through and re-export that so that this file will download. Uh, once we've got it, once it's downloaded, it is, we can do, we can click right here and we can go to show in folder. I'm gonna bring that, it dropped it up over on my other screen. So I'm gonna drag it over here where we are. And these are all the downloads uh, that I've downloaded on my computer. And the one today, this is the most recent, double click on that because it's already zipped. It'll open up, I get a folder of the field name. I get a folder of the serial number. I get a folder where it's stored. And then I get the list of all the DAT files there. So this is all the data for that field. So if you had selected all the fields right here, you'd have a file, file name or a file that was named of all the different fields that were downloaded and they would have their subfolders in there. But for what we need, for what we're doing, these are already zipped. You just take this, right click this and export that over to us. And I'll do uh, maybe a video on, on where, where and how we're going to export those out. But uh, those are already zipped. They're already as small as they're gonna get. And so we'll be able to transfer those over uh, just fine. So that is the process of going to fieldviewplus.com and pulling uh, the raw data from a climate field view system. Thanks, guys.